hello students good day and welcome back to this channel once again in today's video we want to look at the topic change of subject we are going to perform change of subject of a formula or a relation and how to make substitutions into this formula now given a formula v equals u plus a t v is said to be the subject of this formula or this relation now we can rearrange the variables in the formula such that a different variable can stand alone. Now in this case, the variable that stands alone is called the new subject of the relation or the formula. So for this formula, let's say if we want to make A the subject, then basically it means that we want to make A stand alone. So we have V equals u plus a t now because we want to make a stand alone we are going to group terms containing a on one side of the equation and then terms containing the other variables also on one side of the equation so let's transpose u to the left hand side so this becomes v minus u equals a times t and because we want to find a we divide through by t and then we have a to be equal to v minus u over t. So by this, we've been able to make a the subject of this relation. Basically, when we talk about change of subject, you have a formula or a relation, and then you are asked to make a different variable the subject of that particular relation. In that case, you are going to make that variable stand alone. In certain cases, Values will be given to represent these variables and you'll be asked to make substitutions into the formula. Now let's move on and solve a couple of examples. So for example 1, make P the subject of the relation 3T minus PQ equals 2 times P plus L. We are going to make P the subject of the relation 3T minus PQ equals 2 times P plus L. So first of all, let's write down the relation 3t minus pq equals 2 times p plus l. So basically, we are going to make p stand alone. That is what we are going to do. So we have 3t minus pq equals, now let's multiply 2 across. So this becomes 2p plus 2l. And then we are going to group terms containing p on one side of the equation. Now we are going to transpose negative pq to the right hand side and then 2l to the left hand side. So this becomes 3t minus 2l equals 2p and this becomes plus pq. Now we have the terms containing p on one side of the equation. And then p is common to both terms so we can factor out p so that we have p times into bracket 2 plus q equals 3t minus 2l and because we want to make p stand alone we are going to divide through by 2 plus q and then 2 plus q so whatever you do for the left hand side you do the same for the right hand side so this cancels out this p equals 3t minus 2l divided by 2 plus q so we've been able to make p the subject of the relation now let's move on to the second example so for example 2 make x the subject of the relation d equals the square root of 6 over x minus y over 2 we are going to make x the subject of the relation so we have the relation d equals the square root of 6 over x minus y over 2 now to make x the subject we need to do away with the square root okay so we are going to square both sides of the equation to eliminate the square roots. 
so this becomes d square equals the square root of 6 over x minus y over 2 all square so this becomes d square equals now the square cancels the square roots and we are left with 6 over x minus y over 2 now let's combine these two terms so we are going to find the lcm now the lcm between x and then 2 is 2x 2x divided by x is 2 2 times 6 is 12 2x divided by 2 is x x times y is xy and this is equal to d square over 1 so at this point we can cross multiply so when you cross multiply you have d square times 2x equals 1 times 12 minus xy so this becomes 2x times d square equals 12 minus xy now because we want to make x the subject we are going to group terms containing x on one side of the equation so we have 2x d square plus xy equals 12 now we can factor out x because x is common to both terms so we have x outside and then inside the bracket we have 2d square plus y equals 12 now we divide through by 2d square plus y by 2d square plus y and then we have x to be equal to 12 over 2d square plus y So this is how to make x the subject of the relation d equals the square root of 6 over x minus y over 2. Now let's move on to the third example. So for example 3, i given that 1 over x plus 2 over y is equal to 1 over z, express y in terms of x and z. i i, if x is equal to negative 5 and then z is equal to 10, find the value of y leaving your answer in a mixed number so let's solve this question together so for i we have the relation 1 over x plus 2 over y equals 1 over z and we are asked to make y the subject now we have only one term containing y so we transpose 1 over x to the right hand side so this becomes 2 over y equals 1 over z minus 1 over x next we are going to combine these two terms so we find the lcm lcm is x z x z divided by z is x so x times 1 is x x z divided by x is z z times 1 is z so this is equal to 2 over y at this point we can cross multiply so when we cross multiply we have y times x minus z equals 2 x z now because we want to make y the subject we divide through by x minus z x minus z and then we have y to be equal to 2xz divided by x minus z so we've been able to express y in terms of x and z now let's solve for i i now we are told that if x is equal to negative 5 and then we have z to be equal to 10 then we should find the value of y leaving our answer in a mixed number now we have the relation y equals 
2xz divided by x minus z. So let's substitute the values of x and then z into this relation. So we have y equals 2 times, now x is negative 5, z is 10, divided by x is negative 5 minus 10. So let's simplify. We have 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. Negative 10 times 10 is negative 100. Divided by negative 5 minus 10 is negative 15. So negative cancels out negative. We are left with 100 divided by 15. Now 5 goes here 3 times. 5 goes here 2 and then plus 0. We have 20 divided by 3. 3 goes into itself once into 20 6 times remainder 2 over 3 so we have y to be equal to 6 whole number 2 over 3 so that's it for today's video thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye bye